Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, so in this video we will try to add uh, Bootstrap 5 uh, to Laravel 12. Uh, so first uh, to add Bootstrap 5 uh, to Laravel 12 so we need to install some packages. Uh, so let's move to our terminal and use npm install and we need to install first bootstrap bootstrap and also we need another one which is the pooper js pooper js slash core and also we need the sas okay so hit enter and let's wait until it's done and while uh, waiting let's move to the next so inside the, the resources so we have here uh, folders so we need to create uh, another folder let's create it and call it uh, sas okay and inside the sas folder so we need to create a new file so let's call it app.scss okay and inside this file, so we need to add a code. So I will paste the code. So this is the code. So we need to get the fonts and variables and get bootstrap. And uh, you will find the link in this, the description uh, where you can get uh, this code. Okay. And also we need to create another file inside the SAS folder. So let's create this file and we need to call it variable variables.scss. Okay. And inside this file, we will add another code that you can get also from the link in the description. So here is code so the body bg and font family font size and line height so now we have uh, these uh, two files so next uh, what we need so we need to update uh, the file which is uh, the bootstrap.js so let's move to js so here we have uh, this bootstrap uh, file.js so we need to do something so first we need the uh, so let's add an import here. So we need to import uh, and we need to import uh, the file that we have created, which is uh, inside the SAS uh, slash app. Okay. So this one. And also we need to import uh, bootstrap. Okay. So let's do that now. So we need to import all. Uh, so we used star as uh, put uh, strap uh, and we get it from uh, boot uh, strap okay so now we have uh, added uh, we have imported file and bootstrap so next what we need we need to add the bootstrap to our uh, we need to add bootstrap part uh, to our vit.config.js file. So here, inside vit.config.js file, so we need to add uh, the path. So first, we need uh, to import uh, the path. So import uh, path uh, from uh, path. Okay. So now we have imported the path from the path. So next, what we need to do? So we need to add the, the path to Bootstrap uh, and uh, to add the path. So let's move here. So after the plugins, so we need to add another uh, property here, which is uh, the resolve. And here we have the alias to Bootstrap and we have uh, the uh, path to Bootstrap. Okay. So save. So now we have added the, the path uh, to bootstrap. So next, uh, let's uh, try now to see if uh, we will have uh, bootstrap uh, or not. Okay, so let's move to our welcome page. So here, so we need uh, to add uh, an update. So we need to add uh, the link. So let's, or let's do something. Let's remove uh, 
contents that we have here so let's remove everything from here and keep only the body and also let's remove this from here and uh, that's all so let's see what we have here so let's remove also the style and what else we have here so let's let's remove uh, the links so we keep only the title okay so now we have only laravel and the title okay so what we need to do now we need to import uh, the app.js file and to do that we can use it and here we provide the path to the resources folder slash js slash app dot js okay so now we have added the with directive so next what we need to do so we need now to check if it is working or not so let's add only here div with the row and uh, here let's add div with call m6 and mx auto just to test and here a button uh, with the class better and uh, better and danger and let's add here danger and here let's add the submit and save okay so now we have uh, done uh, all steps uh, to add bootstrap let's uh, so the packages are already installed let's uh, run server php php artisan serve so hit enter and let's see if it is working or not so let's follow the link and we have here an error so the bit manifests not found so we need also to run npm run div okay so we need to run also the vit server so let's wait until it's done so now it's done let's refresh the page again and see what we have here and we have uh, another error so failed to resolve the import which is uh, the sas app so just here i have uh, missing so just i have missed extension so app.scss so let's see so now as you can see we have uh, the button so now we have added the bootstrap to our application successfully so let's add here a margin top and bottom and see so as you can see we have the margin top and bottom so that's all uh, for this uh, lecture so if you like it so hit uh, subscribe and like and see you in my next uh, project